There are a million things to think about when building your first home, but you should bear in mind that first impressions are going to start on the stairs. Welcome to Life and Style, I'm Kevin Harris. Now they say your home is where your heart is, and it seems to be the case, as interest in home renovation has never been greater than right now. And if, like me, your New Year's resolution is to finally get around to finishing off that bit of DIY, uh, mine's tiling the kitchen, by the way, in case you're interested, uh, then you're gonna be particularly uh, interested to speak to today's guests, who will offer some inspiration uh, for your efforts around the home. So joining me are television presenter and property expert, Catherine G and here with some top tips for transforming your stairway from Richard Burbage is Zoe Lewis. Ladies, thanks so much for coming in. And thanks to you as always for joining us. Let's quickly remind you how it's gonna work here on the show today. We're gonna to be talking DIY tips first up and then Zoe's gonna to explain to us how first impressions are gonna start on the stairway. And of course, we'll be answering all of your questions. And we are live today, so if you do have any questions for our guests, then please use the box on your screen and we'll do our best to tackle them over the course of the next 15 minutes or so. And if you like your tweeting like so many of us do these days, then please tweet us your questions. Just add the hashtag that is Studio Talk TV, and we'll do our best to answer them throughout the show. So ladies, thanks so much for coming in. Zoe, Catherine. Hi. Um, Catherine, perhaps start with you. When people are taking on a DIY project, it's the new year, we're going to spruce up the home, why do they overlook the stairs? I think we just forget about them mm. in the same way that you sort of slightly forget about mm. doors and yeah. windows. Mm. They, they are <coughs> primarily functional, a means of getting up and down and down and up, yeah. but they're so much more than that. They are also an introduction to your home. If you think yeah, most houses you walk into traditionally, either a hallway with stairs going off, or nowadays, much more prevalent, the wall's gone, you walk into a big open plan open space. Plan. But the staircase is going to be the largest interior fixture, mm. really, in that space. So it's crazy, really, that we don't mm. give them more thoughts. And so many people inherit staircases when yeah. they move into a new home and just completely overlook them. They're so busy planning how they might redecorate the room or re-carpet. Yeah. Actually, you know, look at your stairs because they're a way of introducing your style and your house to somebody. Mm. And we make our, our first impression of our house within the first few minutes of walking mm. through the door. Mm. So disregardless of whether you want to sell it or not, yeah, if you sure. want people to like your home and your style, then start with your stairs, really. And, mm. and, and Zoe, how, how can stairs transform a home? What sort of styles, what things can we have? Is it just the limit is your own imagination? Well, yes, there are loads of different styles and I think people often think that you've got to go for bespoke options. What we find is people actually aren't aware of the number of options which are available. So from plain timber mm. items to ones like with a mixture of timber and metal or with glass. I mean, there are so many options available, yeah. but it's about that people forget about about the stairway, as Catherine says. Yeah, and sure. there's a number of reasons why people forget about that area. I, I presume people think it's probably going to be quite time consuming, quite difficult to do. Yes, I think one of the things is people do think that is actually a lot more difficult than it actually is. Whether it is, some people think, actually, you'll need to rip out the whole staircase. Well, if you don't. Mm. And another thing is all about expense. People think it's a lot more expensive than it actually is. So it's, it's fairly quite accessible for most sort of competent DIYers. You shouldn't kind of overlook the stairs and just ignore it, have a go at doing something with them. Well, exactly. I think there is something, dependent on what you want, there is something across all different budgets for whatever you want. And um, are these products, I mean, this is a product behind here, I'm talking about competent DIYer. Yes. How competent do you have to be? Is this, can anyone take this on? Could I do it, Zoe? It is for somebody who does Excuse put me. up more than just a shelf in the home. Mm. However, all the complexities of a normal stair part system have been taken out of this system. For example, all the rails immediately are pre-finished, mm -hmm. so there's no varnishing whatsoever. And what I love about this system is actually, on average, you probably need to make only seven saw cuts compared to 
over 120 for a traditional stair part system. And, and, I, and I noticed as well, your saw cuts are very cleverly hidden with the, uh, the ends. Yes, yeah, so actually they don't even need to be 100% accurate. Sure, sure. Now I think we can actually have a quick look at some uh, images of some befores and afters here. So we can see some that were uh, staircases that were perhaps before and then what you're able to do with some of your products. So perhaps we can have a look at some of those now and we'll see uh, what they were looking like. Uh, so as you can see they were kind of uh, quite bare before and they weren't looking that great. Uh, but then with a little bit of uh, Richard Burbage magic they're looking great. I think there are so many products on the market now and so many different materials mm -hmm. that it can be a bit overwhelming. That's another reason why maybe people don't sort of dare to do their stairs. So basically, when you're thinking about changing your stairs, you're going to be determined by a number of factors. So think about the space you've got available. Mm. Um, think about your lifestyle. Um, how many people are going to be plodding up and down them should you be putting carpet on them because actually that's a, a better option if you've got a lot of children running yeah, up and down sure. for example um, and also think about your personal taste and the interior architecture of mm. your home if you've got a very period property with a lot of period features in place then go traditional mm. yeah if the lines are a bit more blurred i've seen a lot of particularly victorian houses which have been converted and have incredibly contemporary interiors mm. and if you get it right it can look absolutely fantastic so it's like balancing old with new contemporary yeah, yeah. and, and know, i think you know period. start by getting all the brochures getting magazines mm. going through just tearing out any pictures that th you think oh i really like that yeah and then you can put them all together and you'll start to see a direction that your sort of design eye is going and that will lead you in to the sort of look that you mm. might want mm. to go to. At that point, go to the experts and tell them, yeah. and let them yeah. tell you what you need yeah. to buy. Well, it's funny you mentioned that. There's also a really great tool which can help you do exactly that. On our website, there is something called Stair Planner, which okay. actually there is a system where you can decide, pick between four options, whether you want something traditional or contemporary whether you're going to fix it yourself or ask somebody else to okay, do it, yes. the type of timber, and also importantly, what budget you have. And then it will show you what options are available well, with those great. parameters. So it really does help you make those decisions on, on what you actually want. So it's fair to say that they're, they're quite easy to buy and quite easy to fit as well. Yes, so easy to fit. And in terms of easy to buy, mm. there are a huge, amount, a huge amount of places where you can buy our products. But again, on our website, we have a stockist locator where you just can put it in the postcode and it will show you where to go. Or just phone us up and we can tell you where to get those products. They are very accessible. And behind you, there's a design there that's mm. quite striking. And this is of one of your newer designs yes. as well. This is something called Elements. Right. And actually, this system here is, I would say, one of the easiest. Right. Um, as there's a handrail. And the just sorry to interrupt you, but if I was to look at the front of someone's house and I saw that, I'd think that's quite bespoke. And I'd think, crikey, they've got some, you know, they've got mm. like a blacksmith or something, they're sort of really individual here. Well, this is the beauty with this system. Actually, there are quite a lot of these metal balusters available, mm. so you can actually pick and choose what balusters, what newels you want, okay. which are the posts at the bottom yeah. of the stairs. And then the balusters just slot into pre-drilled holes on the handrail and base rail. Right. So you can customise your look and get something very individual for what you want. But something like that, is that, is that something you could take on fitting on your own? Yes, I would say that's one of the easiest ones. And the wow. great thing is you don't always need to remove a newel post. You can no. just cut it off and add a newel turn on top, which makes it a relative, well, a relatively easy system to fit, especially if you have tackled a few projects around the yeah. home. Yeah, absolutely. I think if you're a kind of a serial redecorator yes. and you love changing your look yeah. sort of every one to two years, then you've really got to get your head around the fact that nowadays you can, it's fairly cost effective to go whole hog and do something completely different on the stairs. Mm. Um, but if you're possibly a little bit less DIY savvy, um, start by installing a system possibly with painted or primed balusters which okay. means that rather than having to do the whole hog every time you could just repaint, repaint. Yeah. so really quick yeah. and easy way to sort of rejig your staircases to, is to paint the balusters sure. different color yeah or mm. even the risers between the treads kind of change the colors yeah. there yeah, there's course. lots of little different things that you can do that 
that doesn't necessarily involve installing the whole system every time. Right, absolutely. Well, hold that inspiration because we've got many questions still to come. Uh, we're going to take a short break, though, for a moment. Uh, but coming up in part two of uh, Life and Style here, Catherine and Zoe will be answering your questions live that you've been tweeting in. So we'll see you on the other side of this. Okay, so you've been sending in your questions to our guests here today, and the first one is up. So let's have a look. David is in Basingstoke, and he says, how do I go about choosing the right stair parts for my stairway? Zoe, over to you for that one, I think. I think it's um, similar to what we mentioned before, that there is actually something called Stair Planner, mm. which is on our website, which yeah. really helps you dis decide what, what types of um, system you want, whether you want something more contemporary yeah. like the fusion range there yeah. or something a bit more in the middle which can either suit lots of different types of homes yeah. Yeah. so there are lots of different ones but it's really deciding the style first and then whether you're going to fit it yourself. So on your website you've got a kind of like you know piece together this 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 you'll get this and then you can see it type yes, thing. Yes exactly. Stair planner. It sounds like also he might be a little bit worried about maybe the shape or the configuration mm. of his staircase and, and whether those bits will fit and, mm. and but they do come in different parts don't they so that actually y you can you can take pretty much any style and put it on pretty much any shape of staircase yes i think that's a really important point yeah. that all these products are individual components which are bought off the shelf right and everything suits the majority of stair mm. configurations so there's virtually no staircase which can't be done with these with these stair parts. Right, there you go, David in Basis. Get yourself online and start planning. Um, Michael is in London. Um, how long will it take for me to transform my stairway? Oh, well, Ooh, right. Always a piece no. of string. Yeah, exactly. yeah. How much well, do you DIY? Yeah, exactly. How many tools have you got in yeah. your garage, How Michael? many times do you stop for tea? <laughs> yeah. It really depends, I think, on two things. Which, which system you decide yeah. to go for and how competent you are. Yeah, sure. However, if again, like I said before, you have tackled a number of projects within, within the home and you try something like fusion or elements behind, mm. actually it's a weekend job. Yeah. So you could, right. you could get that done start to finish in a weekend. See, that's really interesting, We're isn't it? We're going to rush home and change our stairs. Well, that's what we I'm know? thinking, because you would think of a weekend job, buy a can of emulsion, maybe paint the walls and you know, change the curtains maybe, or buy a new bedspread. But you wouldn't think in a weekend, perhaps I could do something with the mm. stairs. But you obviously can. Yeah, and I think the other thing to mention is actually for some of these, especially for fusion, mm. um, we've this got looks really, really modern. Yes, yeah. and we've we've got fitting instructions available, or you can watch on YouTube how to how to fit these products. Yeah. Right, so you could literally have yeah. a, a, it sort of sitting on a screen next to you, talking <laughs> you through, yeah. as talking, you go along. talking it through, or pick up the phone, yeah. and we can always answer any questions sure. that anybody has sure. about fitting these products. Great. Um, James in Southampton doesn't need like he needs, doesn't sound like he needs that help. He's saying, I'm a keen DIYer and I'm looking for inspiration for my hallway. So he's just the man for your products. Mm -hmm. He's a keen DIYer, James. Um, do you have any tips for any changes that I can make? So he wants to do his inspiration for his hallway. Do you have any tips for any changes that I can make, ideally without having to enlist the help from others? Thanks. He's not going to have to enlist the help from others, is he, James? No, I don't think so. I think he's fine. So he again, wants inspiration for his hallway. Decide. It's depending on what you want. So fusion, yeah. like we mentioned before, and there's also a new system called Imix, which okay. is again um, pre-finished, um, taken out some of the complexities, right. and that's with glass. Yeah. Um, which again is strength tested or something more traditional like elements. So there are a lot of different options available. Well, I think as well for his inspiration, like you were saying there, Catherine, just get magazines and rip yeah. things out. So I like just this, I like this. And go to the news agents, get a stack of yeah. home interest magazines, yeah. go online, play around, look on websites mm. um, and look at the brochures and the room sets. There's so much media information yeah, out there. Really, yeah. And the more you sort of pull out things, you make yourself a mood board and suddenly you'll see, oh, actually I'm that kind of person. And, and mm. I think I think James will probably be quite surprised at what he can achieve. I mean, looking at some of the designs that you've got here, mm. you know, you probably wouldn't have, thought, you'd have thought they'd be out of your price range or beyond your abilities to yeah. put that in your home. But I think James is going to be surprised. I think he will be surprised. And again, it depends on your budget. You can you can change, if you want something yeah. more expensive, you can have a more expensive timber, but if your budget's a bit less, 
well then you can change the timber mm. option as well and even if James has got um, some stairs which are just between walls you yep. can add a nice handrail with some yep. nice fittings on the wall yep. again which means you don't get the grubby hands course, up the yeah. wall and we can make a real real change yeah. just in a couple well, of hours. That's a really good point actually Zoe, don't, you know, however small the flight of stairs, don't forget about it, quite often there'll be little short flights, mm. maybe doing a level where you've got a level going yeah. down to another level, um, they still need attention, it's mm. the sort of thing that we forget about, but that actually that would be a really good starting a little practice ground mm. for people yeah. to do a short length um, of banister or balustrade. Yeah. Um, and and just kind of get busy, do the whole and lot, then see what yeah. a difference it makes, and probably yeah. be quite impressed as well. Yeah. Ladies, we're out of time. Sadly, that's it. It was short and it was sweet. We were up and down as fast as that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, thanks ever so much for coming in, and as always, thanks to you for watching us once again. Now, don't forget, if you want to find out more about transforming your stairway, then you can just get yourself logged on to the internet. It's innovate-and-renovate.com. So innovate-and-renovate.com with a couple of hyphens in the middle. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.